Welcome back to the series guys. We are taking a vehicle, turning it into an overlander, but on a budget. So if you're new here and you haven't seen the previous episodes, I will stick a link at the top now so you can go back and watch those, get up to speed to where we are now. As a matter of fact, we are on our way to the Maxxis dealer right now because we have just had a delivery. Our steelies are here. So we're on our way up there now to get the tires fitted to these. Going to keep that a secret for now you're going to see them later in the video what they look like what we went for and we'll explain more about that so yes guys please do give this video a like you know subscribe if you're not already hit the notification bell because we don't want you to miss the videos you know we're posting at random times now so get a notification when those videos come out right let's go filthy animal Grinding, grinding, grinding. To the left, to the left. Woohoo! Do you think it's like summer or something? Just perfect. On. Oh, no. <laughs> this series is sponsored by. So we've got our five steelies. We've got some new wheel nuts to go with those. Unfortunately, the company that sent them didn't know the right amounts for the car, even though it was advertised. So <laughs> I've actually pinched a couple of, uh, well, more than a couple of Molly's wheel nuts to get us by just for today until the, other, the rest of them arrive. Sorry, Molly. And uh, a set of lockers, uh, locking nuts for the wheels. And we're gonna use the old lockers to keep the spare locked. So yeah, ready to go. Uh, let's get these on. So we got a 16 by 8, uh, minus 5 offset, and here's the black steely. So following on from the other day, where we were up at Whitby Tire and Exhaust, the Maxxis dealer, I thought we'd uh, take you through, we're back at base now, take you through you know, what we've chosen, why we've chosen it, and also go through the budget too, and catch up with where we're up to. Firstly, see we've got these steel modulars, they are a 16 by 8 um, with a negative offset. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Pecking your toes. I thought. I thought. What the hell was that? <laughs> I, I, I felt something was pecking my toes. I didn't know what. I saw it coming. But 
<laughs> that's new. Oh, uh, you can't do anything seriously around here. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, these are a 16 by 8 steel modular with an offset of negative 5. Brings those wheels right out. Probably, well, no, I know it's 50 millimeter over the standard wheels, which really fills the arches much more. And it looks just looks a lot better, uh, which is kind of the look I was going for with that. Um, we've got five of these, including the spare. Prices came in at 349.95 for the set of five, which actually is not bad if you compare it to you know other kind of alloy wheels and things which you can get for trucks and things. But um, you know there's always the danger of you know you could crack it or whatever. These are a budget, conscious choice and easily repairable, maintainable. So pleased with those. I think they look spot on with the colour combination on the truck too. Uh, let me know what you think, put, put something down in the comments. Tyre, this is the Maxxis Worm Drive 980E, it's an all-terrain tyre and we've gone for these because you know, we've had a lot of experience with Maxxis over the years, we've been running for, for over three years now and we've had really great success with those. We've run the mud terrains, it's the first time we've run the all-terrain so really keen to see how we get on with these but with this build being uh, you know, a budget conscious build and also primarily a, a Tura, an Overlander. We've gone for a 265 75 16, uh, rather than going any bigger, keep it to a sensible size. Uh, I think that measures in roughly between a 31 and 32 inch tire, if you go back to that kind of measurement. But these keep everything, keep the gearing in check and everything, a speedo still pretty accurate, doesn't throw things off too much. Yeah, pleased with the choice. Um, we'll obviously keep, keep you updated how we get on with those the difference between the uh, one terrain and the all terrain. If we go over here, check out the list, we'll, uh, we'll put up the costs now. So the five steel modulars came in at 349.95 for all five uh, tires. So five tires fitted was 700 pounds. And we needed some wheel nuts and some locking wheel nuts, which totaled 33.98, which brings the total for everything wheel and tyre related to 1,083.93 and bringing our grand total on from you know what we've already done to the vehicle, buying the vehicle, servicing the vehicle, we're now up to a grand total of 4,832.87. So I hope that's cleared up a few things about the tyre choice, wheel choice. If you, need, if you have any more questions about the setup, do stick them in the comments, I'll answer those. Love answering your questions and things. So. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys. Please do give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss our videos, of course. And yeah, if you want to find out more about Patreon, just the click at the top now too, so you can see that. Otherwise, we'll be catching you very soon in the next episode where we move on to the Overland setup and the camping gear. So that's all quite exciting. Although I know you've seen a few glimpses already during this episode. But yes, that's for next time. All right guys, take it easy. Catch you soon. I can see